Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today we'll be going to, you know, uh, we'll talk about the uh, just brief introduction about Metal Studio and uh, what we can do in Metal Studio, what is the use of Metal Studio. So all those things we'll be discussing in this video. Okay. So to start with, this is the Metal Studio window. Okay, where you can see so many different different softwares which is integrated in the software. Actually, Metal Studio is a you know platform where you can submit a calculation, where you can design a material, and in Metal Studio there are different different softwares which is integrated. Uh, like that software is kind of tool. So like Castap, this uh, web sign is for the Castap or tools. Then you have different different tools, CCDC tools. You have Conformus tools, DFTB plus, Demol three, Foresight, Gaussian, blah blah blah. So like this, this softwares have this software has so many integrated other uh, softwares applications, right? So generally, what you know, we do in Metal Studio, we can design a molecule, materials, one D, two D, zero D, whatever you want. You can design here, okay? So apart from that, suppose generally Metal Studio, we cannot make a 2D sheet. So what we do is we'll be keeping sheets uh, like uh, sheets, nano sheets in a such a way so that there will be you know space the, the in you know the space between two layers will be uh, huge so that there is no interaction between layers. Generally we keep more than 10 angstrom so that there is no interaction between layers. So we assume to be two dimensional layer, right? So like that it works. So we'll start with the some small designing in this Metal Studio, okay? So that you can see how we can design a molecule or a material in this Metal Studio platform. And then further we'll see how we can do this uh, dynamics calculation, static calculation, Avenisio, whatever calculations are there, we can do it. I'll give you brief introduction about all those things in later videos. First we'll see how we can make uh, like molecule, how we can design certain molecules over here and materials over here. First, we need to create one folder. There, we can give some name, and then you can have a 3D domestic document. In this, <coughs> now you have the window, and now you can see like more menus are highlighted here. Now, suppose you want to design a molecule. Just assume uh, I want to design a cyclohexane. So I'll go here. See here. You can see this is for sketch atom. If you are clicking sketch atom, this uh, will be uh, like highlighted. From here, you can select the atoms or the uh, other elements if you want. You can select it from here. Okay. Suppose you want to like design some molecule, unknown molecule. Select carbon. Okay. Like that, it works, right? Click, it will stop there. Double click, the molecule will be done. This is just the wireframe model, so it is looking like this. Right click, go to the display style. And here you can select this ball stick model and I generally prefer to use uh, ball radius, stick radius as 0.1 and ball radius as 0.3. Generally I prefer, it depends on you, like if you want you can use it. it is, this is the CPK model, this is the polyhedron model, so whatever you use, you can use it, okay. So I generally prefer ball and stick with this, okay. So see now in this molecule there is no hydrogen, right, we have just added the carbons here. So in this same frame, see this frame, I told you, this is for the sketch atom, this is for the sketch ring. Suppose you want to make 4 member ring, 5 member ring, 6 member ring, you can select it from here. Okay, from here you can select a fragment. Okay, you can uh, define a fragment and you can add it. This panel will allow you to find out the distance, bound angle and um, this is the dihedral angle which is also known as torsion. Okay, so this is, see, this is for clean in generally in all of these, uh, you know, the uh, softwares related to chemistry there will be option to clean using molecular mechanics so you can use it for cleaning and this is the adjust hydrogen in this molecule we haven't added hydrogen so what we can do is we can click here and uh, we can select auto update hydrogen so wherever valency is required it will add hydrogen see automatically it has added hydrogen now this molecule is not adjusted because all of the carbon has to be staggered form so what we can do is we can click here clean now see it has adjusted and now you have this nicely staggered confirmation of this uh, chain. <coughs> so like that you can design, suppose from here you want to add certain things, just go here and uh, uh, select sketch atom and just add it from here. Here itself you can do, whatever you want you can do. 
like that you can add anything whatever you want suppose you want to ch uh, change the atom you can select this uh, 3d viewer this arrow after that you select the element then you can go to the uh, modify window and modify element you want to change the element you can change it from here you can go to periodic table for other elements so here also you can change the element okay suppose you want to modify this bond this is single bond if you want to modify to the double bond triple bond whatever you want you can make it from here okay if you want to specify the hybridization of any element suppose for this hybridization you want to specify you can specify from here okay generally in you know polyhedral complexes you want to specify the hybridization you can do all those things so this is the way to make the molecules in this platform and like that you can design any molecule just assume suppose you want to make a benzene i'll go to <coughs> six member ring i have selected and click here so you got this six member ring okay now go to the display style and from there you can select the ball and stick model okay so you got this planar six member ring you already know this is a cyclohexane but this is not uh, this is not a planar molecule right so what you can do is after getting this click on this clean still you are getting this only right so actually metal studio give you lots of you know flexibility to change modify the uh, molecule <clears throat> suppose you want a certain isomer of this molecule so you can tune it suppose you, you might have seen that half chair from twist board board so all those case you can tune nicely in this platform so see here you will be seeing this movement tool click here and in this movement tool you can this is the for the transitional movement from here you can select some distance suppose i am selecting here point 0.1 angstrom so one click will be equivalent to the point 0.1 angstrom suppose okay so i want to move this up i want to make the board confirmation so i'll make it move up little more up uh, and this group has to be little bit you know rotated so i'll rotate by five degree angle see again five degree little more up we have to make little more rotation see this thing nobody is going to teach you that you have to like you know decide <coughs> okay so like this this side is done now this side also you have to do same thing you, you can select it by dragging it okay so rotate it first make it up yeah in, in the chemistry and design specifically the symmetry is very very important if you are not getting proper symmetry the molecule calculation is just waste okay so make sure you are getting the proper symmetry of the molecule so uh, i assume this is the board confirmation okay but we have to look for the symmetry also right <clears throat> i'll click here on the clean now i got this uh, board confirmation exactly now i'll click here find symmetry here i'll go for the find symmetry option and there i see c2b I will snap it to C2V. Okay. So I got the C2V symmetry for this molecule. Okay. Now this is perfect. So this geometry is perfect. I can further do the calculation over here. I can do the Gaussian calculation. I can select and do the Gaussian calculation over here itself. Okay. Like that we can design any molecule in this platform. So in the next tutorial, we will be seeing how to design a material to the nano seeds in this uh, platform. And later on, we'll be like uh, learning about the how to do a calculation and the analysis. All those things we'll be learning like part by part. Okay. Thank you for watching.